Holy shit! January is fucking back! So I didn't know this until I looked into the film a little bit closer because I'm gonna be completely honest. This is a PG-13 January Blumhouse movie about a haunted swimming pool. I didn't give too much shits about this film initially. But it later occurred to me that this is actually based off of a short horror film from the same director that did this full-length film. Kind of like, think of the same treatment that like Lights Out got back in 2016. And so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll check out like what this is an expansion to. And I will say, for what it was, I thought the short horror film was actually, you know, a fun enough bite-sized, uh, you know, horror film. And I was like, you know what? Let's start being a little bit more hopeful. Megan came out in January. I thought that was fine. Plus, this is a directorial debut, full-length debut, from, you know, a guy that did a, a short horror film that was actually fairly, you know, that was actually fair for what it was. So I said, you know what? Let's give Night Swim a shot. And I'm just gonna say this, guys. The only thing of value that I can say I got from this film is knowing that it can only be up from here for this year on out. So, what I here's what I will say, which is like probably one of the only positives I'll get from this film. The opener for this film, it is that thing where it's like a lot of what is in this opening or, op opener, it is shown off mostly in the trailer, but for what wasn't shown off from this opening in the trailer, like for what was left to be surprised by, for what it is, I do think it is just dumb fun for like how it's executed in just a dorky campy horror way where i was like okay it's probably still not going to be a good horror film but it might be dumb fun we might get that based off of what we've gotten so far like for example the real estate lady that were like teased with in the trailer where she's like oh um it was probably just people that didn't use the the pool i will say this i don't know if this was intentional but like with this character being a real estate agent specifically i was like yeah I can see you accidentally selling something fucking cursed. Like, it was just like, stay the fuck away from me in that wet fart character sort of way. <laughs> I definitely saw very quickly that it was going to be that case where when it wasn't being just dumb, ridiculous, horror shit, that like when it was actually trying to be serious with its characters and focusing on their backgrounds and, you know, the drama in between that, it wasn't going to be dumb Oh, shit, that was like also fun, but it was just gonna be dumb boring that someone just shit out Because they made something that was somewhat salvageable like a short horror film And then Blumhouse is just like hey, you know how we do with horror we shit out sh as much horror Crappy forgettable horror as much as Marvel shits out crappy forgettable superhero films Let's get you into Hollywood brother like, this movie. It just drags it's not interesting. The characters suck ass. The characters always feel completely out of place. Like, they're lost in this movie, which I understand. There's, like, three different fucking storylines going on in this movie. The writing, it absolutely offers no fucking talent whatsoever. It's all just throwaway. You name it. The only thing that this movie could possibly offer that is somewhat in the enjoyable category is a ridiculous shit horror, which still sucks because again, the original short that this is based off of is actually like, it, it surprised me for what it was as a fun sized horror short. But after the first few minutes of this movie, I could already like predict, yeah, they didn't have much more to offer aside from that four minute horror short or however long it was. Cause like, so this is just my honest opinion. This whole thing, were teased with in the trailer. This whole like expansion of that short film. There was a lot of stuff in that trailer where I was like, okay, some of this, yeah, I see that it could be the expansion of that short horror film to some degree. But most of these, of what we got in this trailer, I was like, what the fuck does this have to do with the haunted pool? And it is that in execution. That's just, again, that's just my opinion. That's what I predicted. And that's just personally what I felt I got out of this. And again, going back to what I said earlier, how there's like three storylines in this movie. It was that thing that I predicted where I was like, how much could you really offer out of like a hundred minute movie or whatever based off of a two to four minute short horror film about a swimming pool? How much more 
could you really do? I mean, I understand the lifestyle thing where it's like, well, who is this entity? And I can see this, you know, to a degree. I was like, again, I like the short horror film enough to give this one a shot where I was like, well, what is the origins of this swimming pool? But again, within the first few minutes, you just know that they are struggling. And yes, they do do that thing where there's like so many other storylines where whatever we were teased with in the trailer about this father, that feels completely like another storyline, like another horror story. And even that just offers nothing. It feels like they had this idea that was Night Swim as far as marketing, where they were like, okay, we don't actually know what to do. Let's make another storyline. And then with that storyline, they're like, we don't know what to do. So they even coded it with even more bullshit where it goes as far as to like, there's this whole baseball, like, background in the movie, this so whole side plot line, where it left me going into a movie that I already thought was going to be pretty bad, where it went to the extent of me just reacting like, WHAT THE HELL IS EVEN THAT?! So like, in final result, it just kind of gave you two shit movies for the price of one. And just going back to like what we, what I was kind of looking forward to based off of how much faith I was given this movie, based off the, of like what the short horror film was, even with that, when it is being that Night Swim horror movie that it was marketed, there's no buildup, it doesn't connect at all, like all those scary pool scenes, they don't like lead to anything, they don't like expand, there is no buildup, they don't get scarier, they don't feel like they're connected, it's just scary Blumhouse swimming pool horror segments that are just sprinkled about in an otherwise train wreck of a movie. Like, I can almost bet you that if you take all of what was Night Swim out of this movie and combined it together, it's like a 15 minute movie. Maybe 20 minutes tops. I'm just baffled by how bad this turned out. I had an idea, a suspicion that this would be your generic PG-13 Blumhouse January horror film, but goddamn, this really is just a shit show. And lastly, it's to the point that by the end, when it is that climax, you couldn't even tell that it was a climax. It just felt like any other part of the rest of the movie. Because again, there's no buildup. There's no real story. Nothing connects to anything. That by the end, I'm like, wait, the credit... Oh, that was the end. Okay, I mean, where is the like beginning, middle, and end of this story? What is this story? And yeah, guys, what I can say is that for the first movie of the year, again, what I can say that is the value is that it can only get better from here. I am obviously going to give Night Swim a negative review. But with all that being said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for my review of Night Swim. Uh, I mean, I got Mean Girls next week. Hopefully this isn't just a shitty January. But with all that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.